Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Brandon Lindsay, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the BOC3 filing and how to save money getting it filed. Um, so, as a part of getting the operating authority to be an interstate for hire motor carrier, you have to have a BOC3 file with the FMCSA. And your authority can't become active without that filing. So I started working on my uh, BOC3 filing after submitting my DOT application. And once I submitted the application, I started getting all types of calls and emails from different companies about, I mean, all kinds of transportation related things like factoring, UCR filings, BOC, and BOC3 filings. Uh, well, that's because the phone number and the email become public record after you submit the DLT application. And these companies sound very official and it seems like they're a part of the government. Well, they're trying to sell you services, and if you don't know any better, you could end up overpaying uh, for these services before you've had a chance to do some research on your own. Uh, for example, a good friend of mine, he ended up paying like $100 for a BLC3 filing because of these calls and emails. Well, luckily, you know, I knew about this ahead of time. And I did some research on the BLC3 filings and I only ended up paying like $30 for my filing. So make sure you spend some time to do some research uh, before you just uh, commit to one of these companies that just reach out to you as soon as you hit your DOT application because you may be overpaying for some services. So what is the BLC3 filing? Well, form BLC3, and I'm looking at a BLC3 filing, so Form BOC3 is the designation of agents for service of process. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm, I'm not an attorney. This isn't legal advice or anything like that. Um, and without making the video you know, super detailed or complex, the BOC3 filing, basically, it lists the person or the office that will accept legal documents or court papers on your trucking company's behalf in each state and Washington, D.C. And this filing is public record. So for example, you know, if somebody wanted to serve my company uh, court documents in South Carolina, uh, they could look up my company through the FMCSA website, find my BLC3 filing, and the BLC3 filing would tell them where to send the documents. And then the agent uh, should get the documents to me. So how do you get the BLC3 filed uh, you know, as, as you're going through the authority process? Well, generally for most motor carriers, uh, it has to, the BLC3 has to be filed by a process agent. So you pick a process agent to file it with the FMCSA on your behalf. And the FMCSA does list some process agents on their website. And I put a link uh, to that site in the description box for you. Uh, the company that I used, it took them about a day or two to file uh, the BLC3 with the FMCSA. And once it's filed, be sure to keep a copy um, in your company's files. Another popular question about this uh, BLC3 filing is, does it have to be filed annually or renewed annually? And the answer is no. There is no annual renewal requirement for the BLC3. So I just wanted to put a quick video up about the BLC3 filing and maybe uh, help somebody save some money out there. Uh, and if you found the video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.